Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's VBA tip is on the humble input box. So if you want to follow along with the tip, go to ExcelExperts.com and under search this site, just type input box and you'll get to tip number 27. You can read more about it, uh, have a look at the screenshots and download the example code. Let's just see what I mean by this. If I click on this button, I get this. This is an input box. It's asking the user of this system or spreadsheet to type something in and then it's going to go away and do something with that value. So in this case, how many apples do you want? It defaults to three and it highlights that. So that's quite nice because as soon as you start typing, it types over. Or you can just press OK if three is the right number for you. You then press OK and it does something with it. In this case, it just displays a message box saying you, you chose 101 apples. Click OK and that's it. Let's have a look at the code. So this button runs this code. If I right click assign macro edit, I go here. So here we set a variable equal to the return of this. Input box is actually a function. So these are the inputs to this function and input box will return something. What will it return? Well, it returns the number that you type in or it returns double quotes. If you press cancel, it returns double quotes. So what we need to do is after we've got the return from the input box, we check whether it's not equal to double quotes, in which case you haven't canceled it. If you have canceled it, we do nothing. Otherwise, we say you chose that many apples. Input box takes a number of arguments, six actually, but we're only really concerned about the first three because these are the most useful ones. So the first three are the question you want to ask, the title and the default value. Let's step through that. And there you can see where each of those appear on the input box. If I click OK, it returns me to there. And notice that the return is, is a string. It's three as a string. So if you want to use that as a number, you need to convert that later. We then check if I didn't cancel it. So I didn't cancel it. I bring up the message box and step through. So that's an input box useful for gathering information from your user in a tightly controlled way. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com. Thanks for listening.